to then face one end of my part. I want to end face the other end and I want to get my part to four inches long. So first I'm going to shuck it up. Make sure it's in all three jaws, about two fingers sticking out. Snug it up. I can't rely on a measurement to a soft cut face, so I'm going to take a light cut off the end first. Bring my tool in and gently touch the end like we did on the other end. Back it off. Zero my readout. Move in 25 down as that axis. Cut to the center. So I cut to the center, I'll move away. I'll stop the machine. Remove the part from the chuck. And now I have to measure it. Now that I have two ends clean, I can measure it and I can see how much material I need to remove to get it to my desired four inch length. I'm going to measure my workpiece. And currently it measures four inch, 49 thou or 48 and a half thou. So I'll put it back into the shelf. So I'll put my part back in the chuck, tighten it up. I'm going to move my cutting tool over the face and bring it in close. But I need to accurately know where the cutting tool is. So I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to jiggle it up and down while I slowly move the carriage towards the part in the z-axis. I'm going to keep jiggling it up, slowly coming forward until I snug up onto my paper. Paper is two thou thick. I know my measured length was four inch and 48 thou. Now that I'm touching the piece, I'm gonna tell it that my Z is at 4.048. Enter. I'm gonna move away from the part. I'm gonna make sure the readout's going the correct way. So as I get closer to the chop, the number gets smaller. So I'm gonna work from four inch, 48 thou, to four inches right on using my digital readout, and I won't worry about the two thou thickness of the paper. So I'm gonna remove 25 thou at a time until I get to my four inch length. Turn the spindle on. Move in roughly 25 thou, or at least 25 thou for the inch Engage my feet. I'm making a very nice chip, just popping when I face. Stop it at the center. Bring it off the part. It's down on the right to the four inch mark. Now, if I go too far, I have to remember backlash. I'm going to back my tool well up away from the part. I'm coming in slowly up to my four inch or I'm loading the screw up the same way. More precaution this month and slowly come up to my four inch part. I don't need to stop and re measure. So I'll get to four inches and I'll clean the face up. Stop it at center, get away from the part, then we'll spin it off and take it out of the cup. the chuck key in the chuck when my hand is on it. Never leave the chuck key in the chuck. Now I can measure my part. Double check if it's four inches.